married, you will marry soon. Uh, you are not saying amen. amen. And um, I've looked around the church, I see a lot of young people. Your spouses will come very soon in Jesus' name. In fact, January will not pass you by. But another thing is, you need to help yourself. Because uh, our African ladies, their eyes for big things has made life different. If you ask a young girl of 17, what speck of man will you like to marry? Their description, God never created them. They tell you six feet four, must play basketball, football, American football for that matter, not soccer, or must work with an firm. Let them get to 24. What speck of man will you like to marry? Five feet plus. Should work with an IT firm or has got his own good business and must at least have two cars. When they get to 34, what speck of man will you like to marry? Not too tall, not too short. Must have the fear of God and must at least have something doing. When they get to 44, what speck of man will you like to marry? My brother, anyone know? Let him just be a man. If he does not have work, my job will keep us. When they get to 52, what speck of man will you like to marry? With annoyance, my brother, man, a man. It's, it's, it's just different. Now, now, because of where I come from, as, uh, you know, I didn't know, Pastor, I, I don't know, I didn't ask a question yesterday. Today I asked, where is Pastor from? And they say you're from the South South. Wow, no wonder. You know, we are naturally funny. So when you now go into ministry, it becomes a different package. And if you are from that part of Nigeria, like I said yesterday, in America, they have familiar spirits, not demons. Because the pastors know how to communicate with the spirits, and the spirit knows how to live when the pastors say go. Why? Because you cast away demons now in this present day society. They don't just go. Why? Because they don't have transport. So when you cast away, you put your hand in your pocket and say, take, go. The demons will go. In America, they don't even do that. It's only in America, somebody is possessed. Come to the altar with demon. The pastor will hug him. They, they bring the brother forward. Pastor, say, what's the problem? Say, there's a brother here possessed with one demon. They bring the, not, did I say one? 50. Americans don't have one. It's 50, 100, 200 legions. It's only in Nigeria, you don't need two. One is okay. They bring the boy with the demons. The pastor will hug him and say, Hear the sound of my voice, you demons. Take all you got from this body and go. Took <laughs> hand for pocket. This is a gift card. Just go. <laughs> the demon will go and say, Let's go before it cause fire. They go. In Nigeria, you want to do deliverance. You will start in the morning. The pastor will speak. Oh, have you seen deliverance in Nigeria? You will think it's warfare. The pastor will shout, you demon, <laughs> hear the sound of my voice. <laughs> I take, take all you have from this body <laughs> and go, <laughs> remove, <laughs> waka, come out, <laughs> take off, discharge, cower, vanish, lost. The demon is looking at you. When you are tired, you will begin to negotiate. They brought Benihi to Nigeria one time and as the man was ministering, they said, pastor. He said, what's the problem? He said, there's a brother here possessed with one demon. But he laughed. One demon? Bring him forward. Last week I chased 50 from the body of a brother in the United States. The demon responded, hey, I don't die. This man is speaking English. Today you will deliver. So they brought the boy forward. The man went with the love of God and hugged this boy with the demon. His hand chain, wristwatch, phone disappeared. Yeah! You don't deal with us. We are strong people. And another thing, another thing I say, Americans, I'm sure we have some Americans here. It's only in this America that people crosses the road like they wrote their father's name on the ground. Am I saying the truth? People cross, Americans don't run. If they are crossing, and you know it's only in this country that people have dog that they tell you they have three and a half children. Who is the half dog? You will see somebody's father with big belly will wake up in the morning, carry dog and start jogging. Wear the dog polo t-shirt and Nike shorts. 
Then when that dog stops to lick a female dog, the man will say, he likes your dog. So you see them crossing the road with their dogs, and then the dogs stop at the middle of the road, maybe to pee. Those ones, no matter what you drive, if you see them crossing, you do what? You stop. Then you see the ones inside their car will now wind down. Hey, what breed is that? <laughs> the man will respond, it's a Mexican Chihuahua. <laughs> Another one will now wind down. Oh, I used to have that dog, but she died. All of them will now shout, oh, she died in the middle of road. In Lagos, where I come from, you want to cross? <laughs> you... You don't run, they put you down forever. Pastor say you fall, you rise. That one you fall and you fall forever. No rising. I'm going to do quick things. Now, another thing is, yesterday we awarded um, 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 some teachers. But I think, I think the best so far to me was appreciating the man of God. You know, our pastor is, is, is a man of God to reckon with. Because what pastors see in this ministry work, I was just saying, God, if God don't call me, I will call him. Forget it. If he calls me, I will disappear. <laughs> because pastors will be praying and preaching. And what people do in church, I went to a church, the pastor was laying hands on people. They were falling under the anointing. One lady fell, boom, under anointing. I fall around. She pick up. Hello? Please call me back. I'm under anointing. How can you be picking your phone? I went to a place. The man of God said, next week Sunday, we're going to be celebrating God with our substance. Whatever you do for a living, bring it to church to worship God. Come and see people bringing cars, television set, house keys, and all of that. There's this man in the church that deals on casket and coffin. The man started wondering, what will I take to church? Pastor said, anything you do for a living. So the man produced two heavy-duty, customized, padded, factory-fitted caskets. As they were singing, bringing things to church, the man himself was drawing those two things to church. They were singing, all I have, I will give it to the Lord. When pastor saw plasma TV, hey, spirit high. When he raised his head and saw two caskets inside church, the pastor was forced to change the song. Not be in my head, though. Not be in my head, though. Anything where this man they plan, not be in my head, though. They needed to bless people with these items. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a car. Going, going, gone. Somebody got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a house key. Going, going, gone. Somebody took it. They sold everything, remaining those two things. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have two factory fitted, customized, padded, branded caskets. Going, going, goa, goet, goest, gone. If not you, you go by. But you know the bad part of the program? Whatever is left behind belongs to the pastor. So. The pastor came and said, the Lord is good. They say all the time, today has been a wonderful service. Uh, what are the remnants of today's service? When they show pastor, wait, he remain. <laughs> Till today, they are still looking for the man of God. Because he run, leave church for them. Before they will call kill him before he time. You don't deal with us. The only people that run or cross this road like Americans in Nigeria are those boys from Niger Delta that have one bad leg. Have you seen them cross? They are crossing. The motor will come. The boy will stand. Where you the wrong go? Now you fair drive motor, Abby. Nonsense. Then the thing gets to him. He'll come back. Now some people they drive. If I no cross, what do you go feed do? Then the thing get. I'm not the cross, coppers. <laughs> Troublemakers. Now, I'm going to do this one. Musicians, I need you to work with me now. Children are gifts to society. Am I saying the truth? Children are, are blessings to the home. And um, please, don't minimize money when it comes to training your children. 
give them your best. Children, if you're here, listen to your parents. In America, they say they don't beat children, but I've told my wife beforehand, I will brush them. <laughs> if my child looks at me and tells me, shut up, you are dead. <laughs> like, in fact, the thought of it will kill you, not to talk of saying it. My auntie will always say to us, you see outside, that is America. Inside this house is Ninja. I will beat you to death if you try that nonsense. Now, parents try to minimize and they give their children any kind of education. No, don't do that. I went to a school. I used to have a friend who joined teaching. I know NYSC. I don't know why they don't post their people to other places. They will post all of them to schools to go and teach. Not everybody can teach for God's sake. Some of them don't even know what to teach. But this guy went into a school to teach and he's a conk stammerer. How will you teach when you can't talk? The moment he entered into the class, the student bank table, pa, 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 pa. Good morning, sir. We are happy to see you, sir. God bless you, sir. For the man to respond, trouble. Say, go, go. Go. Good morning. I am your new hater. Sir. Science today. Teacher, Toto, today we shall study our quaqua aquatic animals. Our quaqua aquatic animals are animals that stay huh? You can't turn DJ underwater. You, you, you will repeat. Ah, uh, after me. He wrote on the board, Crocro die. He say, say, Crocro. Crocro. Crocro die. The children shouted, Crocro. The man said, Chow, chow. Chow, chow, chow up your mouth. Is that? I am saying it. I said, Crocro. Crocro. The children shouted, Crocro. The man said, Chow, chow. Chow, chow, chow up. He got upset, changing from crocodile to hippopotamus. He said, hip, 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 hip. The children shouted, hooray. What are you hipping? Finally, bros, I need you. I need to take off my jacket for this one. Because uh, this dance, I want to dance now. I need strength. <laughs> See where I sit down, though. But well, you know they look at like saying at your size. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, now, joke I do in case now you are my balance. So <laughs> now, now, for those of you that didn't buy my CDs yesterday, please go and buy. Man of God, I told you if they don't buy that CDs, I will give the rest to you. And you give me the money, please, because I'm praying that after the, this is what I've planned today. I will finish selling CD. Committee people will give me my balance check. Then the Lord will minister to the man of God to give me a own check. Because you and I know yesterday you did not plan to get an iPad 2. So, uh, you see, I've, I've calculated everything. So, please, let the Lord be ministering to you as you. Now, I went for a poem competition and I said, ladies and gentlemen, this poem competition is for children around Nigeria. We have every one of them here and I want them to sing a simple poem, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And children, well, you know, they got so excited and everything, but the way children sing, you will know the kind of music their parents listen to. Am I saying the truth? So I said, ladies and gentlemen, from Victoria Garden City, Lagos, fine boy. A Jabota child. Play me jazz. Dun, 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 dun. Uh -huh. The guy came up. Please give these people music. The guy said, Which key be that? C. No, go D. Uh -huh. The guy said, ah. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. 
I wonder what you are. Ooh. Up above the ground, so high. I say, hey, hold on. I say, I know you are discovery talent, but this is not the place to discover it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from Edo State, Nigeria. Now, if you know Edo people, Bini, do we have been any Bini person here? <laughs> Okay, I don't so now. It's okay. You know, Benin people know they buy things. As a Benin person, ah, I like your shirt. They send and come more. I see one fine pick. I say, this baby is so beautiful. Ah, they send and come more. <laughs> Funny people. They love reggae. I say, from a Don't State, Nigeria. Play me reggae. Play me reggae. Drama. Play the drum like now you the player. Aha. Uh-huh. The boy don't come out. Yeah. German. Me just some from Babylon City. I don't say downtown, man. We run things, things are an I. I and I one love man. Sing the poem now. The point does that. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Hey, I wonder what you are. Ah. Twin, 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 twin. Hold it. I say, hey. If you take something, not be here, you go show up. And I said, ladies and gentlemen, from Sokoto, Nigeria. You know, how was that people? The Lord be with them. Pam 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 Jump jump. The guy don't come out. Guy, my name is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. The title of my poem is Ibrahim. Shake it, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Waka, I wonder where I be. Well, hey, if I no wonder what I go punish me. Hold on. God is with them. And also, ladies and gentlemen, from Mushi, Lagos. Now, you know when the Yorubas dance, they fight. It's not intentional, not dance. And they're always opening their mouth. Ah! One open mouth. Ah! Fly, come, ah, come out. And no, no. Not just their expression. Play me Fuji, all right? Play me Fuji. Give up. Sing the poem. Do go, do go, little star. I wonder what you are. Why won't you forget when you are using all your senses to run? <laughs> and I'll say, ladies and gentlemen, from Onitsha, Anabra State, Nigeria, can you play me solid Igbo rhyme? When Igbo people want to dance, they dance like kings. They don't dance anyhow. But enjoy what this guy did. Play me Igbo music. Da, 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 da. You're playing something rich. Una be Nigerian, Sato. Uh-huh. Slow. Slow. Yeah, oh yeah, keep on this. Play. Uh huh. The Igbo boy came, asked the ushers to get the names of the people that have money. They brought the list. He saw the name of the first boy. The man has money. He did something I like so much. Uh huh. He went down. He saw the name of the next person. That man has serious money. He did something I enjoy too. Uh-huh. He went down. The name of the third person not to get money. He laughed. <laughs> when they want to dance, they don't rush. Is it? Huh? They will count it. One, two, one. They will come suspend them. Sing the poem now. The poem starts. Ah, twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, little star. Mr. Wapi Namani, the managing director, Amales Nigeria Limited. Mr. Osandi. Obikwe, the Ochi Colossal One of Inewiland, 
Importer, exporter, pure water. Hold it. Ah, oh, Pastor Dola, man of God. Man of, I just remember you're an evil man now. Ah, ah, ah. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Come, come, wait, wait, bros. Now, now this kind of thing they call quarrel. Because <laughs> we don't know you give that money to now. Now me or church. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> oh God. Put your hands together for one minute. Ice water. <laughs> I told us in one of the...